All right, so our next step is the load material. So we are going to load ABS blue and QSR support. Open this up. Inside here, a little part holding the spool. And here's our bag. And we're going to need our snips for this or scissors. Got my snips in here. So I'm just going to snip the top of that. And then we tear this open. And here is my spool of ABS. So I'm going to press the the third button down on the front screen, that's the material button, and we can see the heads for model and support are gray and the bays are empty. So we're gonna open bay one. So you just lift this flap up and lift it up. Now, you wanna make sure this drawer is pulled all the way out. If it's not, then as you lift that up, this might end up falling on you. So if we pull this out all the way, it's gonna help hold it. Now that the bay is open, I'm going to find where the, the material is clipped to the spool and I'm going to unclip it. And it's important here that you snip off the last six inches or so of material because if you don't, there's generally some kinks in here and that can cause problems with loading. So I like to cut this at a little bit of an angle with my snips. And then of course, just be careful not to let the sun spool on you. Now, there's a sensor on the left-hand side of these spools that's going to drop down into the bay and tell the bay what you're loading. So I'm gonna hold this here, and we have a little blue opening here in the material bay. That's where we're gonna put the material in. So when I drop the spool in, the machine should detect the spool and you should start hearing the D-drive run. And that's gonna prompt be your prompt to load the material into the opening here. So let's go, drop that down. And when we hear the drive running, I'm gonna sit this in here. And now it's pulling the spool. On the front screen, we see the state is still unloaded. We've got ABS, 60 cubic inches on that spool, so it's brand new and it's full. Serial number, and then it's gonna give us the option to load. So I'll hit load, and we see the little blue material indicating it's moving up to the head, and we should see the spool going in. We can actually close this at this point, lock it, and you could close the drawer. Um, now the material has made it to the head. You can see the head is outlined white and the material is still going up, indicating it's loading. We see the temperature is rising to 265 and once it finishes getting up to 265, at that point inside the machine we should see it purge. So we're at about 265, the heads are starting to move. Okay, so purged initially, it's gonna purge a little bit more. And while it's doing that, we can still see, now this outline is blue, that indicates that the head detects the material, but we still have the blue line going up, indicating it has not finished its loading process yet. Okay, now, we see the, the temperature is 251 and dropping. The set point is zero, indicating it's done heating. And then this line is solid, indicating that the ABS is loaded into the head. Now we're gonna repeat that process on the support side. Okay, so it has detected the support material. It's still unloaded. QSR white, 60 cubic inches out of 60 cubic inches. I'm gonna hit load. 
Now it's pulling the spool in, it's gonna repeat the same process. Close this top door, close the material bay. You can open and close the material bay while it's loading. There's enough slack in those tubes, it doesn't do anything, so no problem there. And again, we're going through the process where the head is going to purge the material, and then after it's complete, we'll see that this head is loaded, it's blue, it's ready to go.